All right, welcome to another episode of Fun Never Ends with Nelson and Friends. I'm here broadcasting live at my house in West Covina, California. Uh, just doing a highlight show for yesterday at Stanley's LA Comic Con over at the LA Convention Center. I was going to go live and do a couple live coverages, but a lot went went on and I didn't have a time, so... I'm going to do that now. Um, got to the con at about 8, 8.30. And got to the con about 8.30, 9 o'clock around there. Picked up my press badge. Hung out with my friends Stephanie and Christine. Um, they didn't open the doors until 10. A massive crowd just overlooked as I overlooked uh, from the top of the South Hall down towards the South Hall lobby looking down as soon as 10 o'clock hit they didn't open it on the dot they didn't open that on the dot everybody's chanting let us in let us in they gave her the cue doors open and people start running up the escalator you had to make your way it was like going to black friday it was ridiculous so uh, one of the first ones in, it was nice to see the floor before it was crowded. Uh, first, um, first panel of the day was Stan Lee and Pow. So that was pretty cool to see Stan Lee up there opening the, his Comic Con on that Saturday. Um, they had a lot of other panels, which I will go into. Uh, they had a, f um, what was it? Sorry, I can't talk. They had a Powerpuff Girls reunion with E.G. Daly. You may know her from Rugrats as uh, Tommy Pickles, as well as from Pee-wee's Big Adventure as Dottie. She was there along with her other two uh, co-hosts from that panel. Uh, they had a Sabrina the Teenage Witch uh, full cast reunion. So they had the whole cast over there. It was pretty cool to see everybody. Not ever, and nobody really aged. If they did, they aged gracefully. Yeah, everybody still looked good. And it still looked about the same. So that was pretty cool to see. Um, they had the Black Eyed Peas. They did a comic with Marvel. Um, that was pretty cool oh, to see. I didn't really attend it. I saw it from far away. Yeah, but yeah, Black Eyed Peas ended up playing the after party last night over at the Novo, the old Club Nokia. Uh, so, but I didn't attend that. Last wa last panel of the day, everybody was waiting for that one. It would be Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson himself would grace the stage, and. You could not get into that floor. I was like, fuck, you could not get in that floor. And that whole center stage packed. It's like it was ridiculous. You can go you couldn't go from end to another end. It was ridiculous. So uh trying to get a spot on that floor by the main stage, by the hot topic stage, you couldn't do it. <laughs> you couldn't do it. You were in the back or off to the side, somewhere hanging off near like Cosmunity booth or or not even. You couldn't even get it near the soundboard. Yeah. So um, it was cool to see The Rock come out and talk about the new movie, um, which uh, The Rock would state that they wanted to keep it with the original. Um, magic of the original with Robin Williams but still have a newer play newer plot twist I should say about that so newer plot twist so in how he described it in the original Jumanji came to you so in this movie you go to Jumanji so there's a it's pretty crazy. Jack Black's in the movie, as well as Kevin Hart. So that's pretty cool. Uh, set to be released in theaters December twentieth, if I'm not mistaken. So that's that's going to be in 
nice little one to see. Um, they honored Drew Carey, which I missed, um, due to the fact getting food and stuff like that, and a food truck. If you go to a convention, I don't care which convention you go to, whether it be San Diego Comic Con, Long Beach, uh, Stanley, Nam Show, or any other con. And there's food trucks, and there's thousands of people, whether there's, you know, you're going inside of the convention center to get food, or you're going outside to the food truck, it takes fucking forever. It's like five years later, you get your food. The one I was at took at least uh, 30 to 45 minutes, whereas to one, it would be an hour. It is ridiculous. So, uh Con life, right? <laughs> but, so I didn't get to see Drew Carey get honored. Uh, we missed the Batman tribute, which would feature Kevin Smith. You know him as Silent Bob as well. Um, that would be a downer to miss those two. The cool thing was that you know, since they were honoring Drew Carey this, at this Comic Con, uh, they brought in the prices right from the live tour shows. So they brought in you can take a photo with the the showcase podium stand. So they had two set up and it said prices right in the back. Uh so you and whomever can take that photo with it and get back in line so you can go and actually spin the wheel. They had the wheel. That damn wheel is heavy. Uh, if you were to hit the 100 on that first one, on that first spin, you win a free hat. That's it. Price is right. All black hat. Price is right. Pretty cool, right? Um, so I ended up taking a photo at the podium before my turn of spinning that wheel. <laughs> I posted this photo, and on the caption, I couldn't help myself. I had a happy Gilmore moment. I put, price is wrong, bitch so that was fun um anyway i i showed up as comic-con as dress to kill ace really i wasn't gonna do dress to kill ace because i'm not walking around in those boots two years doing it is good enough so um they had quite a number of booths uh derek riggs if you know derek riggs or familiar with him he created all the eddie artwork for iron maiden so i met him last year did not meet him this year it's cool to see uh my friend david fielding he from Mitre morphin power rangers he is the originator of zordon it's cool to see him um and also uh a hall of famer in wwe hall of famer rikishi i I got a chance to say hello to him, talk to him. Cool guy. So is Melina Perez, the five-time women's champion. She was awesome to talk to. Uh, Paul Rubens was there. You couldn't get near Paul. You can't even. See, you couldn't even see him. If you went to meet Paul Rubens, he's in this enclosed booth with curtains, so you couldn't see him. You had to pay, he had to cough up 70 bucks to either get an autograph or a photo op. It's like, with Melissa Joan Hart, it was the same thing, but it, well, she's not in clothes, but it was like 60 bucks for her. Everybody was ridiculously expensive, but I know you got to make some money, right? So, I was like, forget it. The only one that I really did go to to meet was I went to meet Billy Bob Thornton and the Boxmasters over at the uh, Source Press Point booth. So you bought the comic. If you buy the comic for $40 um, that the writer wrote for Billy Bob Thornton and the Boxmasters, uh, you you got to have them, all four of them, sign it. The writer, and the writer as well as Billy Bob Thornton and his two bandmates. They signed it. You took a selfie. That was probably the best money spent all day. Forty bucks. <laughs> so you can't pass. I can't pass up a 
the chance to meet Billy Bob Thornton because how many how many cons do you go to and you see Billy Bob Thornton coming to sign? None. <laughs> None at all. So it was pretty cool to see Billy Bob over there. Nice guy. You know what? When I met him, before meeting him, my my intent thinking of his like the impression I would get from him as uh, like his character in Mr. Woodcock or Bad Santa, I would think he would be kind of like kind of a dick or an asshole or something like that. No, yeah, nicest guy, yeah, cool. So it was nice to actually get that. Um, uh, also, going around, uh, glow, uh, glorious ladies of wrestling, the original. From the 80s, not the one on the Netflix. This is the original that inspired the the Netflix series. So it was cool to see the original ladies from the 85, 1985 show over there. Um, I got to talk to Jeannie. She, she's known as Hollywood on that show. It was cool to talk to her. I walked by and she noticed my uh, Ace Frehley costume. Um, apparently her boyfriend is Ryan Cook, uh, which used to play, uh, I think he still does, with Rock and Roll Residency in Nashville, Tennessee. He's Gene Simmons' uh, current guitar player in the solo band. So they're on the road right now. It was cool to talk to her and took a photo with me to send off uh, probably to send off to or show Ryan but that was pretty cool um women of wrestling or wow e.com women of wrestling so the past couple years the, the past few years that I've went they had a women of wrestling booth but never have I seen them bring the actual ring they brought the actual Oh, ring over there so you can sign a waiver. You sign a waiver, get in the ring, and you get to take a photo inside the ring with the, one of the wrestlers at WOW. So that was cool to step into the square circle, take a photo, just a regular photo, and then to take an action photo. I got my head locked by uh, Keto Rush. So. That was awesome. Probably one of the highlights. Uh, it was cool to run into Daryl McDaniels. I mean, you know him as DMC from Run DMC. Uh, also, I don't know if I mention, mentioned it, but um, I got to run into as well uh, Deirdre Batter. Uh, if you're not you're probably familiar with him from the Drew Carey show. He played Oswald, and he was uh, Rex Wand Rex from Rex Wando over at Napoleon Dynamite. He's in a couple other movies which I can't remember, but it was cool to run into him. Uh, going back to the Price is Right booth with my friends Josh, Christine, and Stephanie. Um, they had George Gray. Manuela and Rachel from the actual Price Right show over there. there. So it was cool to see that Star Trek Enterprise. They had the set for the uh, the set of Star Trek Embers. Yeah, I can't speak. Star Trek Enterprise. They had the set where you had the whole back set, the main uh, chair that. Uh, oh shit, Patrick. It would sit on, and then you had the main controls with the two other ones. Five bucks, you could take a photo with that. It was pretty awesome. Uh, lots of other stuff going on. The Rock, of course, everybody went for that. He did one of his own first catchphrases. Finally, The Rock has come back to Los Angeles. But I was hoping for. Or at the end, if you smell what the rock is cooking. So, but it didn't happen. That was the biggest mob over there. Lots of cool cosplay. The only thing that sucks 
for this year for a lot of cosplayers is the gun prop uh, ban. So they ban <laughs> you couldn't bring in a uh, a gun or a prop gun. So that would have bummed out a lot of people. Uh, heightened security. If you went to that con in the previous years, you recall that in the lobby, you could hang out in the lobby, whether you're a cosplayer or photographer or whatnot. Um, you can hang out there without a badge. This year, it's totally different. You had to have a badge to hang out in the lobby. Security reasons it made sense, but I'm sure a lot of people weren't happy with it. So, I didn't end up going today, even though I had a press badge. It was just one day. I was burned out. All, all four of us were burned out by the end of the day. Um, it was, it was pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, t I was watching the feed for today. I follow Stanley's Comic Con, in their Instagram feed, and I watched through. They had a fairly got yeah. Barry Godparents reunion today as well. Um, they did a, there was a Power Rangers reunion as well. Well, it's, it's kind of, it was a panel, not much of a reunion, but it was uh, Austin St. John, Karen Ashley, David Yost, Walter Jones, and David Fielding. Uh, also, Glow had their panel today. But the one that really struck with me at the main stage was uh was from ringer uh, from yeah. sorry i can't talk for some reason i need some water hold tight for one second while i drink some water that's better all right so like i was saying so i follow the instagram feed for san lee literally that i would find out i come to see it and i find it later i'll mention the page where you can view this on facebook it's pretty, pretty awesome that you can go holy shit to. Yeah, so, um, Young Bucks. If you're a wrestling fan, Ring of Honor, um, Young Bucks, as well as The Addiction. So, oh, let's let's see. Yeah, The Addiction would feature Christopher Daniels and uh, Frankie Carazon. Hey. Uh, because of, yeah, I can't spell that. And then, as well as the Young Bucks, so Matt and Nick, all right, they had their panel, and all hell would break loose. So, oh, um, Young Guns, and eh, Young Guns, Young Bucks, Young Bucks would end up beating the crap out of the addiction, both super, double super kicking, uh, Christopher Daniels. And Frankie, you would think that would be enough, right? No, not at all. So to make things more interesting, they double power bombed Christopher Daniels into one of the tables that they use for the panel on the main stage. They power, they double power bombed him onto that table, and if that wasn't enough, they <laughs> picked up. Uh, Frankie, no, no, I'm sorry, not, yeah, yeah, Frankie, yeah, sorry, I'm not, I don't know what I'm saying, they picked up Frankie, and they pow put him in a pile driver, and crowd goes, holy shit, holy shit, it's pretty awesome, so if you want to see that video, um, you can go to, uh, look up David Reyes, the wrestling journalist, uh, he posted, a video uh, this kind of stuff only happens at LA Comic Con so you can see that video it says Young Bucks versus the addiction oh man what I would have given to be there today just to see that had I known that would happen but who knows with rivals of course it was gonna happen so um, that's about that about does it a uh, little things here and there but uh that's gonna do it for now uh hope you enjoyed this um i am signing off i'll be back 
uh, with another show in the future. If you missed any past uh, shows, you can now <laughs> view them on my Spreaker site, which is always uh, Spreaker.com slash show slash fun never ends podcast. Find me on Facebook on the Facebook forward slash Facebook.com forward slash fun never ends podcast or just search it. Uh, now available on Google Play Music, iTunes podcast as well. So thank you very much for tuning in. Have a great evening and I hope you all have a great week. Take care. Bye.